So in this video, we are going to understand the cut property of graphs. So what does the cut property say? From now on, I'm going to be teaching with this over at cam. I think that's easier than teaching on my laptop because it's very slow. So what the cut, cut property says is, consider an edge E in graph G, all right? There is one edge E in graph G. So what the cut property says that suppose there is a cut AB of G such that E is the cheapest edge crossing the cut. So suppose there is a cut of a graph G, A and B, and E is the cheapest edge between, you know, the bit uh, passing through the cut between A and B. Then E must be in the minimum spanning tree of the graph. So why is it true? We are going to prove this via an exchange argument. That is, it's just another word for, uh, let's say, proving by contradiction. It's just another word for the concept of proving this entire thing by contradiction. So what is the idea? Well, the idea is, let's see if this was not the case. For example, first of all, we'll find out a uh, we'll find out a cut, and let's say E is the cheapest edge through that cut, but it is not lying in the MST. And then somehow we create another MST, another spanning tree with E in it through the same cut, and then we'll prove that that by ad adding that edge E into this entire uh, spanning tree, we have resulted in a cheaper spanning tree, and hence it is cheaper than what could have been the minimum spanning tree. So that's a contradiction. So let's think about it for a second. First of all, we are going to assume that definitely there are going to be distinct edge costs. And uh, so E must be in the MST. That is the theorem's claim. So suppose E, suppose E is edge. Oh, so cheapest edge between A and B, I mean, by, when I say between A and, A and B, I mean through the cut that separates the graph in A and B, just, just go with the flow here, but is not present, is not present in MST T star, let's say, in MST T star, minimum spanning tree T star, okay. So the idea is, idea, exchange E with uh, an existing edge in cut AB resulting in a let's say T prime which is cheaper than T star. That is the idea. That's the overall high level idea. But let's let's see how that we how can we go about doing that. So <clears throat> so first of all, the question is how how do we do this? How to exchange? How to find this exchange edge? You know to to complete our proof. So let's say we have a graph with edges. F, this, and here's E, the one which is cheapest. Here's F, here's E prime, and here's E, the one which is cheapest. So, the first statement that uh, I'd like to emphasize on is that there exists at least an edge that we can swap with in this cut. For example, you could come up and say to me that let's say E was the only edge crossing this cut. But then in that case, E would have been included in the MST anyway. So the answer, the, the, the point that I'm trying to make is there is at least one more edge other than E because if E is not included in the MST, then there, as, the, as both of these halves are connected, there must be at least one edge crossing. So it can be F, it can be E prime, depending on whatever is going on in the, in the MST or it can be both two. I mean, it's definitely possible. 
if there are no connections here on let's i mean there are some nuances but yeah there is at least one edge other than e which is crossing this cut a and b so at least there is at least one candidate for swap that's the point so because this is the cheapest edge e i am going to emphasize that ce will be cheaper than cf and cost of e will be cheaper than c of e prime whatever so depending on which we choose to exchange it's anyway going to be less so let's see let's say i just go randomly and choose f you know why not just try for once suppose i exchange suppose i exchange uh, e with f uh, will that always work uh, let's try to see when will it not work for example if this was a graph here is this here is this 1 2 3 1 2 3 this one this edge these edges and this edge so as our uh, e was here this was e prime and this was f now if i go and swap f and e uh, what will happen is two things first of all i'm just i'm not going to draw the cut from now on it's going to be that i have swapped e with e prime so e prime is going to be present this edge will be present this edge will be present i have added this edge and this edge will be present and i deleted and i deleted f from here so let me emphasize that what happens is there are two problems first of all we have created a cycle here and second of all this graph is disconnected because there is no edge crossing this this particular cut i mean these 3 uh, 4 5 points are present in this side of the graph and this one point is present in this side of the graph and there is no edge crossing between these two so uh, well f is definitely not the right choice how about uh, how about i try it with e prime let's say so my how was how was my original graph looking my original graph was looking like this and i'm going to swap e with e prime so what happens is i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 points f is intact this is intact this is intact this is intact and instead of e prime now i have this edge e E and here is F. So now this is okay. This is good. There are no cycles and the graph is connected too. So the question now arises. Question: Will I always? Uh, will I always find a suitable edge to exchange? Well, good news. The answer is yes. And. Uh, how many why the question is why can we always find a edge that is cheaper and and always find a suitable edge to exchange this with so here's the idea let's go ahead and add e to the uh, mst p star right now as if this was an mst and the by definition of mst it did not need any more edges so by adding e by adding e i have definitely created a cycle created a cycle in the tree right in the mst whichever that whatever whichever we going to think about it we have definitely created a cycle so now that you have created a cycle i mean how will it look in our case I mean, we have this graph we have this we have this 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 and now by adding this edge we have created this cycle right so in any mst for any graph by adding this one edge we will always create a cycle so now think now when i think about it this can motivate a choice for the edge to be swapped so uh, in words in high level ideas is that i have added an edge it created a cycle and because it created a cycle from this cut there must be another edge crossing the same cut because otherwise the cycle would be incomplete and because there is another edge crossing the same cut in the same cycle we can disconnect that edge and uh, and in that way i would have added a uh, edge e and i would have removed another edge another edge uh, whatever star and still maintained the connectivity and still maintained the tree property the spanning tree property and resulted in a tree which is smaller which is 
at a minimum cost than the one which we are hypothesizing to be the MST. And hence, I would have reached a contradiction that that was the MST. So these, so so by contradiction, I'll be proving the cut property. We'll we'll hold we'll loop back on this on this in a second. But let's think about it. So this lemma will be called the double crossing. I mean, we have discussed about this in the previous video also. This is the double crossing lemma. So by adding edge E, add edge E, created a cycle, created a cycle. There exists, there exists another edge, another edge, let's call it, I don't know, uh, J. From the double crossing lemma, there exists another edge crossing a b a b remove j and does not does not destroy the connectivity property because it, it, if it was a cycle that means we can go from one point to another point in any way and by removing one edge it does not matter how that cycle is uh, oriented i mean if i have this cycle and if i remove one edge i am, I am still connected from each point to every other, every point to every other point doesn't destroy spanning tree property and as cost of e is less than cost of j because that was by hypothesis that e is the cheapest edge cost of e is less than cost of j this for sure means that the new tree let's call it the new tree which is created by adding e and deleting j new tree T union E minus J is cheaper than the T star which was the MST hence contradiction that T star was the cheapest T star was the MST so by contradiction what I mean is that the cut property the, the hypothesis that the cut property is false is false and hence we can prove that this is the case so let's 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 loop back on it all together so notes to self for, from the next video please number your pages because this is going to be a bit tricky to navigate now so suppose e was the cheapest edge between a a cut a and b but not present in the mst t star the idea was exchange e with existing edge between a and b and result in a t prime which is less than t star now the question was how to find such an exchange edge so find, to find, what, 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 what we did to find this exchange is edge is added E and observe the cycle that E created and find the another edge, observe the cycle that's adding edge E created in this entire graph and whichever edge was crossing the cut in this particular cycle, remove that edge. So it seems a logical idea to do. So we had this example graph in where we cannot, the idea is that we, the, the critical point is that we cannot randomly swap any edges because by swapping any edges, we can result in, we can result, we can give out a graph that is not a spanning tree and may even contain cycles and hence is absolutely trash. But the good point is that you will always find such an, such an edge where you can swap E with that edge and it will still be a minimum spanning tree and for that matter cheaper minimum sanitary and hence hence our hypothesis by coming back to this our hypothesis but that but is not present in the mstt is false and by contradiction i have proven that the cut property is true so the cut property is the cut property is if there exists if there is a cut a and b in a graph g and e is the cheapest edge between A and B, E must be in the minimum spanning tree. E must be in the minimum spanning tree. 